Man, 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 man. The question I'm going to ask, like Shaq asked at the end, which team is Phil Jackson going to coach? That's going to be the very interesting part, Skip. <laughs> but if we can cut, if we got two Phil Jacksons, Skip, I think I might have to take, I might have to take Shaq Lakers. Because you know why, Skip? Because of what you said. The most unstoppable, the most dominant figure that you saw was that three-year stretch in which Shaquille O'Neal, was, he was unguardable. He, in the three finals, he was averaged 36, 15, and 3. Now, you have to understand what Michael Jordan went against in his finals run. He went against Mark West, Kevin Duckworth, rest his soul, Cliff Livingston. Skip, that's not going to cut it. And Bill Cartwright, Will Perdue, Luke Longley was not going to be able to do anything with the diesel. Not then. Not then. Uh, and the game has started to change uh, a little bit. So, Skip, I'm saying that we're going to take prime Jordan and we're going to put him in the 2000 where we had started to see a little bit more emphasis on the three-point shot because uh, uh, with those snipers around him with Robert Ory and Derek Fisher. And you got to realize, Skip, Kobe has started to start it all of a sudden being Kobe. So I'm going to say, I, <laughs> I'm going to say just part of, because of they got Shaq and nobody's going to be able to do anything with the daddy, I'm taking Diesel. I'm taking the Lakers. I'm sorry. Mm. I got to take the Diesel. By the way, Phil coached Michael first, so I think Phil belongs <laughs> to Jordan, not to the Lakers. No, so, no, so Skip. I, no. I get Phil no. on my side. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Okay, okay. You, you know what I think. I'm going to say it again. I'm not going to bet against Michael Jeffrey Jordan, even in a series that would be epic, that would be an all-time <laughs> great battle to watch between the Shaq, Kobe, Lakers, and Jordans. I, I'm going to go to the end of the line. I'll, I'll go to the 98 Bulls because we're talking about the last dance Bulls. Let's, let's just take that team. Right. I told you that mm -hmm. was the greatest defensive team I have ever seen in the NBA. It was nasty. It was physical. It was shrewd operation. It, it was they, they knew each other. They were unified. They played off each other. It was hard to get the basketball across half court against Pippen, Jordan, and Ron Harper because they were so long and so strong and so quick <laughs> and, and just so committed to, to just terrorizing the opposition just as they tried to get the ball past half court. So I'm going to give them the big edge on playing defense. And then I'm going to remind you that the Shaq Kobe Lakers went down ingloriously. They lost that last finals in five games to the Pistons. Chauncey was the MVP of that finals. And obviously it was Rip Hamilton, Ben Wallace, Tayshawn, Rashid, but it wasn't up to the caliber of star power that the Lakers had. But what did the Lakers have underlying? Shaq and Kobe never quite yeah. got along. They were always at odds, if not at each other's throat. And it really manifested itself in that final finals when they yes. came apart and somebody had to go and it was finally Shaq that had to go. So I'm going to give Jordan's team a psychological edge because they were united around Michael. And if we want to talk about Shaq, and I've said it many times, and you quoted me, and I, I appreciate that, I'm standing by it. Shaq was the most dominating offensive force I ever saw during that period. It was almost impossible to referee him, but he never had <laughs> to play against what would hit him between the eyes in this series. And that would be Dennis Rodman, who's, who's not seven feet tall. He's probably six, <laughs> eight-ish. But Dennis Rodman was a nasty physical defender who knew every trick in the book. He would be in Shaq's way, along with one of the seven-footers, either Winnington or Luke Longley, would be in Shaq's way every time he started a wheel. And every time he started a wheel and, and dived to the basket, You'd have Jordan or Pippen or Ron Harper clawing at the basketball and knocking it out of his hands. He would get frustrated by that collapsing defense on him. And then I'm going to remind you, as Kobe always said, the late, great Kobe always said, my big brother was Michael. And I do think that Kobe in the end would be a little bit overwhelmed 
trying to play Big mm -hmm. Brother. Obviously, mm -hmm. you had a Big Brother who was a great player. Mm -hmm. And yep. Yep, he yeah. would be a little bit overwhelmed by it. And in the mm -hmm. end, the greatest two-point jump shooter in the history of the game, Michael Jordan, I believe that he would be the difference in this series. I think it would be a seven-game series. I think it might even go to the last shot. And at the end, right on, on cue, you would have Michael Jordan pushing off on Kobe, getting a little push off, rising, holding the pose as he swished a two-point jumper to win this, the game seven by one point. So I got Jordan making the last clutch shot over Shaq and Kobe. Nah, Skip, because at that point in time, Kobe was starting to be Kobe. Uh, he wasn't Kobe. He was he was starting to be Kobe. Up until then, he was Kobe Bryant. He was starting to become Kobe. He was starting to take over ball games. Shaq get in foul trouble. I got it, dog. I'll bring it home. And Kobe was not going to sh shrink it. Kobe didn't shrink in moments. And the last thing he would ever want to do is to shrink in front of the man that meant the most of him basketball-wise. You know, other than obviously his father was a big influence on his life, Skip. But he had my, Skip, he modeled his game. I mean, they're going to be looking at each other. They're going to look down. You got a, a wristband on your elbow. You got a knee sleeve pulled down like that. You wearing baggy shorts. You chewing gum. You walking like, whoa, what, what you? Am I looking at me? It's almost like they're going to be looking at each other, Skip. The only difference is one has hair and the other's bald at that point in time. But Skip, you got to be a Dennis Rodman ain't gonna do nothing with Shaq. First of all, that, that's not happening. And then, you know, Horace Grant yeah, was on those teams too, Skip. Mm -hmm. He ain't bothering. He, he, he ain't bothering nothing. He ain't bothering nothing, Skip Bayless. Shaq, 30, 36, 15, and 3. Now, uh, Mark West and Livingston and rest this old Kevin Duckworth, that's what Jordan faced at the big man. Come on, Skip. You know that Diesel was gonna run through them. Okay, but time out. If, if we look at the three finals that they won, remember, Shaq's going up against Allen Iverson's Sixers, overachievers. Matumbo. That's, that's not a Matumbo. huge test for him. They had Matumbo, but, but again, in that's all you got. He was up there in years at that point. Then how about Reggie's Pacers? Reggie was getting up there in years. I, I don't know. That was pretty easy for the Lakers. And then it was Jason Kidd, you know, in the Nets. Um, it, it, you know, again, they, they were pretty good, but they, they couldn't deal with Shaq. So I'm sorry. Right. I, I'm not seeing it. it. I, I, in the end, I, and oh. again, there was no Horace Grant at the, in 98. So it would be just the two big seven footers and Dennis Rodman. No, no, I'm saying Horace is on our side. They, the Lakers had Horace at that point in time. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. I got you. Hold on, but Skip, you okay. make it seem like Jordan was beating the 85 Lakers and the big three Celtics. Look at who, what he went against. Phoenix, what big guy they had? Supersonics, what did they have? The uh, Trailblazers, what did they have? Utah, really? Carl Malone wasn't a five, Carl Malone was a four. They never faced anything like this. Never. Okay, but, but you can feel, listen, the Trailblazers were loaded. That was Clyde the Glide and Terry Porter, and, and Duckworth was, he was huge. And that was a, that was a deep basketball team. That, that was a tough matchup for them, but they always figured it out, and they did have to play Barkley, who was a great player, uh, greater than anybody yes. I think that the Shaq Kobe Lakers had to face in that run. So, you know, to me, they would just figure it out. I think Shaq would get bothered by that defense because there, there'd be four on one at all times, and he would have a hard time, harder time than he had against his Skip. other finals opponents. I get, Skip, the, 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 the Lakers, what they had to face was getting out of the West in San Antonio with Tim Duncan and David Robinson. That was their test, and once you got past that, then it was pretty much smooth sailing on the back on the backside. But just getting out of the West when you had to go through Duncan and Robinson and Pop and some of those and, and, uh, and some of those teams, that's what made it hard. And once you got past that, it was smooth sailing. But Shaq was big and skilled. Nobody else, Jordan never faced that.